You know UPS? The company that literally delivers your life in brown boxes? Well, this week they delivered a bombshell. 20,000 layoffs. 73 facilities closing. All while they're secretly meeting with robot startups to replace humans. But here's where it gets wild. These aren't just dumb machines. We're talking AI-powered humanoids that learn on the job, while also failing marathons, becoming movie directors, and somehow joining the police force? The robot takeover isn't coming, folks. It's already here. Okay, let's talk about UPS. You know them, those iconic brown trucks that bring your Amazon orders, birthday gifts, and that random thing you impulse bought at 2 a.m. For over a century, they've been the backbone of global shipping, moving 24 million packages a day with an army of drivers, warehouse workers, and logistics experts. But here's the thing, UPS is at a crossroads. Between shrinking profits, a messy trade war, and Amazon ditching them for its own delivery network, the company's making some big moves. And one of them might involve humanoid robots taking over warehouse jobs. Yeah, you heard that right. Right now, they're reportedly in talks with Figure AI, a robotics startup, about bringing humanoid robots into their operations. Now, we don't have all the details yet, but here's what we do know. Earlier this year, Figure AI dropped a video showing their robots sorting small packages on a conveyor belt. Smooth, precise, no coffee breaks. And they've got serious backing. $675 million in funding with heavyweights like OpenAI and Microsoft in the mix. They're even working directly with OpenAI to build AI models specifically for these robots. The obvious big question is, what exactly would these bots do at UPS? Sorting packages? Loading trucks? Right now, it's all speculation. But think about it. If this works, we could be looking at a major shift in how logistics operates, less reliance on human labor, more machines that don't call in sick, of course, robots aren't perfect. They're still learning, still expensive, and let's be real, they can't handle every unexpected hiccup like a human can. But with companies like 1X and the bot company also pushing humanoid bots, this isn't merely a UPS thing. It's an industry-wide experiment. So, will UPS go all in on robots? Or is this just testing the waters? Either way, the future of warehouse work might look very different sooner than we think. Now here's the not-so-great news. UPS just announced they're cutting 20,000 jobs and shutting down 73 facilities. That's massive. And the reasons? Two big ones. First, Amazon. UPS is slashing Amazon-related delivery volume by 50%. Why? Because Amazon's been building its own delivery network, so they don't need UPS as much anymore. And honestly, those fulfillment center runs weren't exactly profitable for UPS anyway. Second, tariffs. The US-China trade war is still causing headaches, and UPS CEO Carol Tomei straight up said we haven't seen trade disruptions like this in over a century. Less global trade means fewer packages, and fewer packages mean fewer jobs. UPS says these cuts are about efficiency, but look at the timing, right as they're exploring robot workers. The Teamsters Union isn't stupid, they see what's coming. Their president has already promised a hell of a fight if these cuts hit union jobs. And get this, UPS is contractually obligated to create 30,000 new jobs under their current union agreement. So how does cutting 20,000 jobs fit with that? There's going to be some serious negotiation happening behind closed doors. So what does this mean long term? Well, fewer human workers plus talks about robot replacements? That's a combo that makes you wonder, is UPS just trimming fat? or are they quietly setting up for a more automated future? Either way, it's a tough moment for logistics workers and a sign that this industry is changing fast. Now, let's talk about Atlas. You know that terrifyingly athletic robot that can do backflips and parkour? Well, it just got a Hollywood upgrade. Boston Dynamics has teamed up with Canon and Nvidia to turn Atlas into the world's most advanced robotic cinematographer. Here's why this changes everything for filmmakers. Atlas isn't only holding a camera, it's executing complex shots that would normally require heavy stabilizing equipment, dangerous rigging setups, multiple takes to get perfect. The robot recently filmed an entire car commercial with the WPP marketing company, 
handling heavy camera rigs at angles that would make human operators sweat. Directors are already raving about its ability to nail identical movements take after take. Need the exact same dolly shot 30 times? Atlas doesn't get tired, but the game changer is probably the locations. Imagine, getting steady shots on the edge of a volcano, filming inside unstable disaster zones, capturing perfect angles in extreme weather. Boston Dynamics is quick to say Atlas won't replace human crews. But just like drones revolutionized aerial photography, these robots will open up entirely new creative possibilities. And with NVIDIA's AI training systems, Atlas keeps getting smarter about understanding film sets and camera work. Meanwhile, Atlas's four-legged cousin Spot is racking up passport stamps. Boston Dynamics recently announced major expansions into Australia, New Zealand, and Indonesia through a partnership with security firm EPE. These aren't demo deployments. Spot robots are going to work in real-world scenarios. First responders sending Spot into burning buildings, police using it to assess dangerous situations, industrial inspectors monitoring hazardous areas. What makes Spot so valuable? Three killer features. One, it can go anywhere. Stairs, rubble, tight spaces. Two, if it falls, it can pick itself back up. Three, custom sensor packages adapt to any mission Hyundai's already using, spots in its factories, and US emergency services have proven their value in actual disasters. This Asia-Pacific expansion shows how quickly robot helpers are moving from experimental tech to essential equipment. Whether it's Atlas revolutionizing filmmaking or spot saving lives, Boston Dynamics robots are graduating from viral videos to real-world jobs faster than anyone expected. And this is just the beginning. Wait until you see what they're working on next. From Unitree Robotics Labs in Hangzhou, China comes the G1 Humanoid, a robot that's redefining how machines interact with humans. This is the fluid-moving, socially aware platform that can execute surprisingly natural gestures. Watch it in action at Unitree's Zhejiang Province facility, where engineers have perfected everything from delicate handshakes to playful high fives. The G1's lifelike movements stem from advanced algorithms developed at Unitree's Hangzhou headquarters, where teams are pushing humanoid capabilities beyond industrial applications into social spaces. These robots aren't confined to factories, they're being tested in customer service roles across China, with demonstrations showing their potential in healthcare and education settings too. While the G1 turns heads in China, Unitree's robotic dogs are making waves worldwide. The consumer-friendly GoTo, developed at their Hangzhou R&D center, is finding homes across Asia and North America as a high-tech companion with 4D LiDAR navigation. But it's the industrial-grade B2W that's truly going places, quite literally. This rugged workhorse is being deployed on construction sites from Singapore to Germany, capable of hauling 40-kilogram payloads across terrain that would stop most vehicles in their tracks. Recent field tests in the Australian Outback and Swiss Alps have proven its all-terrain capabilities, while manufacturing partners in South Korea are putting it through its paces in automotive plants. Unitree is proving Chinese robotics can compete globally, whether it's the socially aware G1 charming visitors in Zhejiang or their robotic dogs reporting for duty on work sites across three continents. The locations tell the story. This isn't theoretical robotics anymore. It's practical technology with real-world applications from East Asia to Western Europe. Okay, let's not forget about the most bizarre sporting event of the year, the world's first robot half marathon in Beijing. 21 humanoid robots lined up alongside 12,000 human runners, all attempting to complete 13.1 miles. The robot winner, Tiangong Ultra, crossing the finish line in two hours and 40 minutes. Now, before you laugh at that time, yes, it's way slower than human runners. Consider what an engineering feat this really is. These robots had to maintain balance for hours, navigate a real world course, manage battery life. Tiangong needed just three swaps. The event wasn't without its face plants. Several bots, including our agile King Unitree G1 pavement early on, proving we've still got work to do on robotic endurance. 
But here's why this matters. China is dead serious about leading humanoid robotics by 2027, and public tests like this accelerate development faster than any lab ever could. Meanwhile, in Thailand, law enforcement just got a futuristic upgrade. Meet Cyborg 1.0, the country's first AI police robot deployed during Songkran Festival in Nakhon Pathom Province. This isn't some gimmick, it's packing serious tech. Three 60-degree smart cameras, real-time facial recognition, crowd behavior analysis, weapon detection that can tell water guns from real threats. Developed by Thai police with local tech partners, Cyborg connects directly to the command center, feeding data from its patrols. Officials say it's about enhancing safety during massive events, but civil liberty groups are already raising eyebrows about surveillance overreach. Here's the real question. As these robots become more capable, where do we draw the line between helpful public safety tools and dystopian monitoring systems? Thailand's experiment might just set the precedent for how AI gets integrated into policing worldwide. One thing's clear, whether it's robots running marathons or policing streets, the future is arriving faster than we expected. And honestly, I'm not sure whether to be amazed or slightly terrified. And that's the tech world this month. From job cuts to robot sprints, the future's coming fast. Which story stood out to you? Drop a comment, smash that like button, and subscribe so you don't miss the next update. See you in the next one.